They've been adorning the sandy soil of their homeland for thousands of years and are by far the most famous buildings in history, the legendary pyramids of the ancient Egyptians. Together with the monumental tombs, the mysteries and legends associated with them have successfully withstood the ravages of time. We'll now show you which 10 pyramid mysteries, errors, and theories still pose enormous mysteries to researchers. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to hear about one of the strangest mysteries of the pyramids that may never be solved. The Tallest Pyramid if we take a look at the magnificent pyramids of Giza in their entirety, it seems that the central pyramid of Khafre is by far the largest structure, towering over all the surrounding ones by a few meters. But in reality, things are quite different. With an original height of 146.59 meters, the Cheops Pyramid became the tallest representative of its kind and is still considered the largest pyramid in history. Today, the massive tomb towers 138.75 meters above the desert floor. The Kefren Pyramid, which currently rises 136.4 meters above the ground, reached a height of 143.5 meters in ancient times. But how is it then that the Pyramid of Giza, which is actually the second highest, looks like the largest of these ancient tombs in many photographs? This is simply because it sits on slightly higher ground and also has a steeper incline than its counterparts. Although the pyramid is one of the most popular and certainly one of the largest, Largest, the Pyramid of Kefren is considered the most well-preserved. Indeed, the outside of the building is still adorned with some of the remnants of the once brilliant white limestone cladding, which brings us to the next point. The Changed Appearance the mighty pyramids of ancient Egypt are best known for their ability to stand the test of time, but this is only partly true. It's true that the base structure of the imposing buildings has been preserved to this day, but they have little in common with their original appearance. The Cheops Pyramid used to be covered with polished Tura limestone. The top of the structure, the so-called Pyramidion, was made of granite or basalt. As a result, in the decades following their completion, the impressive tombs presented themselves as brilliant white structures rising like sparkling jewels from the hot desert sand. While the now altered exterior of the pyramids can still be explained by the natural decay of the cladding, the internal changes that many of the structures have undergone are in turn the work of greedy grave robbers. Innumerable precious grave goods, valuable treasures, and even the bodies of former rulers have found their way into the hands of ruthless thieves. The Mystery of the Construction The mighty Cheops Pyramid consists of about 2.65 million blocks of stone. Each of these massive components weighs between 2 and 50 tons. If we now imagine the logistical effort that would already be necessary today, with all of our modern transport options, to handle such a construction project, we can imagine how demanding this project was more than 4,000 years ago. It's generally assumed that a total of 360,000 workers were involved in the construction of the monumental tomb and completed it in a construction period of around 20 years. While the equivalent period of 20 years may at first seem like an extremely long period of time, given the simple means at the disposal of the ancient Egyptians at the time, it seems exceedingly short. And in fact, the question of how the inhabitants of the Pharaonic kingdoms managed to punch their world-famous buildings out of the ground so quickly is still one of the greatest mysteries of modern research. The same applies to the exact construction process. Basically, it's now considered certain that the workers of that time used special ramps to stack the blocks, which weighed several tons, to form a coherent structure. However, whether straight, spiral, or zigzag ramps were used is still a matter of heated debate. The Temperature Inside 
When the scorching summer sun brings beads of sweat down our foreheads, there's truly nothing more pleasant than a working air conditioning system. Although the ancient Egyptians naturally knew nothing about technical cooling systems and fans, the interior of the Cheops Pyramid is characterized by extremely refreshing temperatures. In detail, the thermometer there never climbs above 20 degrees Celsius, even when the scorching summer sun heats the surrounding areas to a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius. We know that the Egyptians would have used all sorts of interesting means to keep cool during these months, but is it possible that the pyramids would have served as a place for people to cool off when the heat grew out of control? We don't know for sure how many people would have been allowed inside the pyramids back during their prime. Most historians assume that the pyramids would have been off-limits to everyday citizens and would have been reserved for special occasions, for pharaohs, or even for other purposes that we've yet to learn about. However, one thing is for sure, whoever happened to be inside of these pyramids all those years ago is likely thankful that they weren't stuck outside in the brutal heat. Victory Against Time We've already now learned that the millennia-old pyramids have been preserved in their original beauty to this day, at least for the most part. But how is this even possible without the use of special technologies? As is well known, only a few crumbling ruins remain of other formerly monumental buildings and complexes. This mysterious fact becomes even clearer if we take a look at the list of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In fact, the pyramids of Giza are the only representative that are still preserved today, even though they were built much earlier than the Colossus of Rhodes and company. Since other pyramids on our globe ultimately fell victim to natural decay or catastrophes, the question remains unanswered as to how the buildings of Giza managed to still shine in their almost original splendor. Mysterious Granite Coffin the fact that a massive granite sarcophagus was once recovered from within one of the pyramids of Giza is exciting, but not a sensation in and of itself. What makes this exciting find so puzzling is the fact that the coffin is actually far too big for the burial chamber in which it was discovered. So it seems as if there was no way at the time to transport the coffin into the room without massively damaging the entrance or the sarcophagus itself. Researchers have played through several variants in this regard, none of which should bring any revealing insights. In fact, it seems as if the burial chamber was only built around the granite coffin afterwards. What prompted the ancient Egyptian builders to take such an unusual step is still an unsolved mystery. One idea is that the Egyptians may have known that grave robbers would become a problem in the following years. After all, the Egyptians were known for burying their dead with heaps of jewels, gold, and other valuables. It makes sense that robbers would want to get their hands on these precious goods. If that's the case, the leaders of that time may have done their best to make it far too difficult to steal the bodies of the deceased. Instead of simply placing their coffin in a large room, they may have built the room and burial chamber around the coffin so that it could never be removed. This is nothing more than a theory, but it certainly seems plausible. The Legend of the Slave Workers being chained at the feet, being whipped by their masters, and being forced to drag the massive stone blocks of the pyramids across the hot desert sand with the last of their strength. If this image sounds familiar to you, then you too have become a victim of a very common misconception. Although such depictions were used by early historians to explain the rapid construction of the impressive tombs, there's now much more evidence that the great ancient Egyptian pyramids were built without the use of slave labor. On the contrary, the discovered remains of the workers' living quarters show that they even led a comparatively luxurious life. As a rule, these were not not forced laborers, but rather the most respected and experienced workers in the land. According to this, there were separate workers' settlements near the workplaces where they could grow their own food and live with their families. Evidence of Extraterrestrial Visitors 
Now we come to one of the most controversial theories about the ancient Egyptian pyramids. While most modern researchers are primarily concerned with the question of how the people of that time managed to build such impressive structures, this approach is wrong from the start for people who prefer a much more otherworldly approach. If you follow the explanations of this parascience, then the inhabitants of the pharaonic kingdoms were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial visitors. The extraterrestrial beings are said to have not only been worshipped as deities, but also to have provided the Egyptians with futuristic technologies that they used to create the mighty pyramids in no time at all. In addition to the imposing tombs, mysterious inscriptions, strange images, and statues that appear to show extraterrestrial creatures also serve as supposed evidence of the authenticity of extraterrestrial theories. Do you think the ancient Egyptians actually got help from aliens when building their pyramids, or are such stories nothing more than made-up fairy tales? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. In truth, it's easy to understand how many people simply cannot believe that the pyramids were crafted by humans. After all, they're some of the most magnificent structures to have ever been built. It can be difficult to believe that a human could come up with such an idea, let alone bring it into the real world. Thus, believing that the pyramids were crafted by aliens isn't too terribly bizarre. After all, we can't prove how humans created it in the first place, so it's highly plausible that they quite simply didn't. Tallest Structure in the World The year is 1311 when Lincoln Cathedral is being completed in England. If one follows the admittedly not always reliable traditions, then the Gothic complex had a wooden roof helmet which finally gave the building an overall height of an impressive 160 meters. Why are we telling you this? Lincoln Cathedral was the first structure in history to dethrone the Pyramid of Cheops from being the tallest building in the world for thousands of years. No other structure held this title as long as the tomb on the Giza Plateau, which was originally almost 147 meters high. A look at the gigantic skyscrapers of modern times shows that the Empire State Building and Company were only allowed to call themselves the tallest buildings on our globe for a few decades. Since 2007, this title has belonged to the imposing Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which has a staggering total height of 828 meters. The Country with the Most Pyramids there's no question that the ancient Egyptian pyramids are among the most famous buildings in history. Only a few other buildings managed to achieve the worldwide fame of the mighty tombs in Egypt. But did you know that Egypt isn't even the country with the most pyramids in the world? In its neighboring country, Sudan, which was once the heart of the Nubian civilization, we find even more of these fascinating buildings. In detail, there are more than 220 pyramids. For comparison, in Egypt, on the other hand, we only count around 80 known pyramids. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on today's detour into the legendary world of the Egyptian pyramids? We're already looking forward to your comments. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.